He is a man that was special to Allah and his messenger in so many ways that the Quran bears witness to it. Shia and Sunni scholars have quoted and said, there is not a verse in the Quran in which Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, in which the verse is in a positive context, except that Ali is one of them and the foremost of them. And not only Shia, but Sunni scholars have compiled books and books on where Ali has been referred to in the Quran. And some have quoted over 300 verses of the Quran in the Fadail of Ali. If Allah says, Ihdina sirat al mustaqim, then Ali is sirat al mustaqim. If there is any great news, Naba'ul Azim, it is Ali ibn Abi Talib. Because this is a man who had surrendered completely to Allah. He had sold his self to Allah for the pleasure of Allah. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْرِ نَفْسَهُ اِبْتِغَاءَ مَرْضَاتِ اللَّهِ And amongst men there is one who sells his self for the pleasure of Allah. If Allah was to reveal the ayat of Mubahala, then Ali is the nafs of the Prophet. تَعَالَوْ نَدُوا أَبْنَاءَنَا وَأَبْنَاءَ He says, أَنفُسَنَا وَأَنفُسَكُمْ He is the nafs of Rasul. If Allah was to reveal the ayat of Tathir, then Ali is one of those whom Allah has purified thoroughly from all sorts of impurities. Or if Allah was to declare those with authority and guardianship, then He declares Himself, His Messenger and Ali. إِنَّمَا وَلِيُّكُمُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ Your Wali is Allah and His Messenger. And who else? And the one who gives zakat while in ruku. If Allah declare, declares the Ulil Amr, then again it is Allah and His Messenger and Ali. أَطِيُّ اللَّهُ وَأَطِيُّ الرَّسُولُ وَأُولِ الْأَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ Obey Allah and obey His Messenger and obey the Ulil Al-Amr amongst you. which is none other than Ali ibn Abi Talib. So the Qur'an keeps singing the praise of Ali again and again. Allah loves Ali ibn Abi Talib so much that when he calls his beloved Prophet for Mi'raj, he speaks to him in the voice of Ali. كَلَّمَنِي اللَّهُ بِلَهْجَةِ Ali ibn Abi Talib. If Ali gets four dirhams and he spends it in charity, one in the morning and one in the night, one in secret and one in public. Allah wants to praise that. الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيًا Ask the Mufassirin, who is this person who gives charity in the day and in the night and in open and in secret? So at every stage we see that Allah wants to praise him. If Allah says, إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُنْذِرٌ وَلِكُلِّ قَوْمٍ هَادٍ O Muhammad, you are but a warner, and for every nation there is a guide. Then the Messenger of Allah bears witness and says, يَا عَلِي أَنَا مُنْذِرٌ وَأَنْتَ يَا عَلِي الْهَادٍ I am the warner and you, Ali, are the guide. وَبِكَ يَحْتَدِ الْمُخْتَدُونَ مِنْ بَعْدِ And it is only through you, O Ali, that people will be guided after me. In Allah's eyes, if He was there to bear witness to the Risala of Rasulullah, then there was no need for any other human being to bear. If the whole world stood on one side and said to the Prophet, you are not his messenger, but Ali stood and bore witness, it was sufficient for Allah. وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَسْتَ مُرْسَلَ those who disbelieve say to you, O oh Muhammad, you are not a messenger. Qul, tell them, كَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا بَيْنِ وَبَيْنَكُمْ وَمَنْ عِنْدَهُ عِلْمُ الْكِتَابِ Tell them, O oh Muhammad, Allah is sufficient as a witness between me and you. And He also is sufficient who has the knowledge of the book. Now go and read tafsir and see. There is nobody else except Ali ibn Abi Talib who has Ilm al-Kitab. Allah was not pleased with Islam as a religion and refused to say it is complete until his authority had been declared once more. And he tells his messenger, Tallig ma unzila ilayk. Tell the people what has been revealed to you. And if you do not, O Muhammad, then you have not delivered anything. And it is only when the messenger of Allah says, Man kuntu mawlahu fahada aliyu mawlah. O people, whosoever considers me to be his master, then this Ali is his master. Then and only then Allah says, Al yawma akmaltu lakum deenukum. This day have I perfected for you your religion. Why? Because Ali has been declared mawlah. And now I have completed my favors on you. وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينًا And now I am pleased with Islam as a religion for you. And if anybody stands up then and says, Ya Rasulullah, did you declare him your successor because he is your son-in-law and your cousin? Or did Allah tell you to declare him? And if he invokes the curse of Allah, then immediately a stone falls from the heavens and kills him. سَأَلَ سَائِلٌ بِعَذَابٍ وَاقِلٍ That means when it comes to Ali, Allah has zero tolerance. You deny Ali his rights, he will punish you in this world. He will not even wait for the hereafter. And again and again. And this is what created the hatred for Ali. This is what created the jealousies. One was the fact that he killed the enemies of Islam amongst the leaders of the chief Arab tribes in Badr and Hunayn and Khaybar and Khandak and Uhud. 
and the other was the jealousy of seeing that Allah would not compromise when it comes to Ali. He orders his messenger. All these people who have built their homes attached to the mosque and built doors that come into Masjid al-Nabawi, shut all their doors except the door of Ali. And the messenger of Allah gave an order. Suddul abwab illa baba Ali. Seal all the doors. No one should have a door coming into the mosque except I and Ali. Some of the most eminent companions and people around the Prophet came and complained about this. Ya Rasulullah, Ali is just a young man. You leave his door open because he is your cousin or your son-in-law and you shut our door. He says, I did not shut his door. I did not shut your door, nor did I leave his door open. Allah shut your doors and he left Ali's door open. But they still have this waswasa. Was it really from Allah? So they go for Salat. As soon as they go for Salat, Allah reveals to his messenger. najmi idha hawa. I swear by the star when it falls. Ma dalla sahibukum wa ma ghawa. This companion of yours, meaning the Prophet, neither has he made a mistake nor has he gone astray. Wa ma yantiqu anil hawa in huwa illa wahyun yuha. He does not say a word out of his own desire. It is but what we inspire him to say. So whenever people had doubt about Ali, Allah would come in and clarify the matter. There is no limit to the fadail of Ali. Quran, Hadith. Ya Ali, anta qasimul jannati wal naar. Messenger of Allah said, Oh Ali, it is you who will divide people between heaven and hell. You are one of those rijalun ala al-a'raf. There is not a Muslim who will go to heaven without the permission of Ali. And we can prove this from Hadith. And from Quran as well. وَقِفُوهُمْ إِنَّهُمْ مَسْقُولُونَ The Qur'an says, there are people who will go marching to heaven, huh? we are on our way. They, it will be said, stop them, they must be questioned. What will be the question about? Rasulullah says, Abu Bakr ibn Mardawi, a famous Sunni scholar, quotes this ayat of Qur'an and he gives this tafsir. He says, the Messenger of Allah said they will be questioned about the wilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. 